Everybody knows Kaylin Clark and, and her adjustment in the NBA hasn't been as easy as some people may have expected it to be. Uh, and, you know, people are kind of changing this whole competitive dynamic to something that it's really not, man. And it's driving me insane. So to give you a little bit of backstory on it, um, a couple days ago, we seen Chicago Sky versus Indiana Fever and Kaylin Clark. Um, she got tossed around. Uh, and got pushed. It was they upgraded the file call to like a technical fly, foul, a flagrant foul. But you know, it, it was kind of a just a, a physical play. It was slightly unnecessary. But Kennedy Carter was the one who did it on Chicago Sky, um, and just kind of bullied Kalen Clark around. People just took this just way out of proportion, and this is what drives me crazy because they're mad about Kalen Clark getting bullied. I mean, you know, obviously it was unnecessary and it shouldn't have happened. But the times that we've seen Kalen Clark do this in, in, in college with Iowa, there was no big discussion about it. The times we've seen her yell and cuss at people, call people names in the WNBA, there has been no big discussion about it. But as soon as this shit happens to her, now all of a sudden it's time that we really, really make a scene and it's time to change rules and policies and upgrade files to technical files and stuff like that. That's the part that concerns me because personally i just feel like if she wasn't really struggling right now if she was having a good time trash talking giving us 30 points 40 points and then you know pushing people like she was doing in iowa having her way like she did when she was in college to these professionals in the WNBA, people wouldn't have anything to say about it it would be oh she's such a fierce competitor she's a savage it would be all kind of talk like that because that's exactly what it was when she was in college. And we've seen this play out the exact same way in college during that LSU and Iowa game. Both times. The times where she lost the first time, yeah, we, she got some trash talk. People were talking trash back to her because she was doing it all season. So where the hell was the problem? Nobody cared or blinked the eye when she was out here competing at a high level. But as soon as other people start competing at a high level against her, it's, oh, it's a personal attack. It's why are they jealous of Kaylin Clark? It turns into whoever just did that has no sense. They should be out of the league. They should receive this. They should receive this penalty. They, re they should receive that penalty. And it's insane because it's just it's just people competing at a high level that's all it is it's not bad sportsmanship it's it's not a a thing of hatred toward anybody it's just athletes competing at the highest level we've seen this happen year and year and year years prior to this point in the WNBA this has been going on for years and years you know how many rookies there's been in the WNBA that's gotten bullied like this go back and look at the footage of Candace Parker playing the Detroit Shock look at what happened during that game Candace Parker was a rookie and we've seen how great she turned out to be but it was a big ass brawl happening because a rookie was getting punked so because of that if you look at that footage you see her teammates come help her out the only problem I have here with Kaylin Clark being shoved like this and being tossed around game after game is the fact that her teammates are not coming to help her out. All of the physical play has been there. That's what's expected when you compete at a high level like the WNBA. None of this is new. You're going to get bullied. You're going to get pushed around. Don't cry about it. Get stronger. That's the kind of approach you unfortunately have to take if you're trying to become a, a great in a league like this. Because crying about it, and obviously she hasn't said anything about it, you know, which is, you know, good. I'm glad she's not complaining about it. But fans crying about it and stuff like that, it's just unnecessary, man. And, and it's a damn shame, bro, because you're, you're almost stripping the game of the things that people like the most. Not necessarily fighting, but just a competitive edge. That's the part where people are picking the game apart. And if you don't want to watch it, then don't watch the damn game. But the game of basketball has been played this way for decades and decades. It's been leveled out, you know, to be less aggressive and less aggressive as time has went on. But nonetheless, it's always been a physical game, man. So in the 40 games that's been going on in the season, someone, you know, they're, they're trying their hard, they're trying hard to make a name for themselves throughout the course of the season so they can come back and play the season after this and the season after that. So when they have a lot of spotlight on them playing against a team where they know everybody's going to watch the Indiana Fever with Kaitlyn Clark, 
They're going to do whatever they can to make sure they're on the their top game, playing the best basketball that they can be. And if that means they get a little bit aggressive, then so be it. Who cares? And don't sit here and tell me, oh, well, you know, she, what she did wasn't playing basketball. I mean, well, she was obviously playing some sort of damn basketball because she finished with 16 points and six assists. So, I mean, she did something. And I think it was actually 19 points. I need to double check on that. So don't quote me. But it, it, she actually she was playing damn good basketball here. So the only problem is who this happened to. This has happened year after year and year time after time after time but it's just the fact that it happened to Kaylin Clark and people feel like oh they need to be thanking her they need to be nice to her they need to put her on some sort of pedestal because of what she did at a previous level not in the W she ain't did shit in the W let's keep it honest let's keep it a buck here she hasn't accomplished a damn thing in the W so everybody who's like, oh, they're jealous of Kalen Clark. That's the reason they're doing this. Jealous of what? Somebody who ain't never won shit in the NBA? In the WNBA? Are you kidding me? Come on, man. Like, is he, come on, man. You, you, I, it's, it's tough and it's so frustrating because, like, this is, it's such a sensitive topic to some people to watch her get tossed around. And it's like, she's just playing basketball, bro. She's playing basketball. And somebody just came and chin checked her. That's all it was. It was an aggressive move. We've seen her literally do the same exact thing on a lower level in College of Iowa. And if you don't believe me, look it up. Look up Kaylin Clark Savage moments. <laughs> I guarantee you find the same type of stuff.